Oh, I'll take a water. Thank you so much. Okay, someone has the best ring tone in the world. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, everybody. All right, let's get started. Everyone has their two yoga block. Thank you. Let's begin with the block between the knees and the thighs. So a um, little refresher. The placement of the block does make a difference. It does make a difference. I would say this middle width is probably the most neutral for most of us. However, if, if it feels uncomfortable, if your back is really tight, you might want to take it out wider. If, um, if you want more of a stretch, you can always put the block in the most narrow position. Sharon, should we scoot you over today a little bit? Because I know, I know at this angle, I'm, I cannot see you. So let's get comfortable. Put the block in any position for comfort. Turn your palms up so we're able to improve the posture in your spine and open up your chest. Let's work with an energizing breath this morning. Some of you might remember it. It's a double inhale, double exhale. It looks like this. Big exhale first. Squeeze the block, double inhale, double exhale. So the inhale, you're gonna you're gonna pull in like, like you have congestion and you're trying to suck up all the boogies. You're gonna do it like that. And then when you exhale, it and it's gonna make you pump your stomach muscles. You want to squeeze that block because it's providing pelvis and bladder support on the exhale. All right, let's exhale all the way. Double inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the block. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Pause. Squeeze. Two more. Inhale. Squeeze. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Squeeze. Exhale. And now just relax. Both hands on the stomach. Inhale in through the nose. Push your stomach out. Exhale, blowing bubbles. Inhale, belly. Exhale, bubbles. Inhale. Long exhale. Two more. Inhale. Longest exhale possible. One more. Long exhale. Let's relax with the breath. Keep the block between the knees and thigh. Take your strap and bring the handles up onto your lap so that 
we can hold on to the handle and hold on to the strap. We're taking out any slack in the line. Not a lot of space between the hand here. I would say your knuckles are probably in alignment with your shoulders, or it can be a little bit wider if it's more comfortable. Make sure your hands are on the handles. That's the most important part because they can um, swing over and hit you in the face. We don't want that. From here, inhale, arms come up. Squeeze the yoga block. Press that strap out and pull it down to your chest. And now relax everything. Everything is relaxed on the inhale. Breathe in. Squeeze. Press out and bring it down. Reset. Inhale up. Exhale. Squeeze and pull it down. Match your breath. Inhale in through the nose. Squeeze. Low bubbles. Inhale, exhale, three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, hold it at center, squeeze the block, Press out, release the block, let it come in. Squeeze the block, press out, release in. Squeeze out, release in. Keep going. Eight, release, squeeze. Seven, release, squeeze. Six, release. Five, release, squeeze the block. Four, three, keep it going. Two, last one, one. All right, somewhere, keep sweeping the block now. Somewhere between really working on stretching that tube and complete relaxation is your halfway point. There's a place where there is half the effort. Find half the effort, just half, 50% effort, and hold it right there. We're working on shoulder stabilizers, stabilizing the shoulders and endurance. Now let's add in a little pulse. Start pulsing. You're pressing out, 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 out. Keep it going. Out, out, out. Set a 12 from here. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and relax. Take the strap and step on it under the soles of your feet. From here, if you want, stretch your legs out in front of you. Make sure the tube stays on the arches of the feet. If you're not quite sure about how secure this is, Lower your feet a little bit. We just don't want the tube to slip off and whack you, right? From, yeah, nobody wants that. Like, where did you get that bruise? Well, I went to this uh, chair yoga class and, <laughs> and it got violent. <laughs> okay, crisscross your strap. This is a really cool exercise. I love the one we're about to do. Notice your feet. Notice that they might want to stickle or turn in or do all sorts of proportionate things. Try to press your feet out and imagine there's a wall. The feet are flat. Now, let's pull up with the left hand towards your left shoulder. It's gonna try to pull your right foot but you're stabilizing your ankle and arch of the foot. Bring the left hand down. Right arm up. Hold it. Right arm down. Let's do a few singles. Left arm up. Hold it. And down. Right arm up. Hold. 
Let it go. One more single. Up on the left. And down. Some of y'all figured it out, but the wider you take your feet, the more work it's going to be, too. And down. Let's try singles. Pull it up. Eight. Keep going. Seven. Six. Five. Good. Four. Do it on the inhale. Three. Two. Pull this one up. One. Okay. Somewhere is the halfway point. Release a little bit. Even if it doesn't feel like work, let it go just a little bit because we're about to fire up some shoulder muscles. Okay, 20 pulses. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and let it come down. Uncross your strap. From here, let's place our feet flat on the floor. We're keeping our strap. Angle your arms out to the side with your elbows in tight. Have y'all ever seen, I know some of y'all had to have seen, like old black and white movies where they strap people down to railroad tracks and they're just kind of like, okay, be like that, be like that. I know we're supposed to be all about positive love and light and butterflies and unicorns in here, but glue your elbows in as if you are tied into the sides of the body. From here, pull the hands up. It's a small range of motion, not too big and then all the way down. And you might notice that there's absolutely no work on the down. Let's slowly come up, 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 down, down, down. Keep it going. Up, 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 down, down. Glue the elbows in. Up, down, slow. One more. Up, 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 down, down, down. Now from here, take it up. Open, pull your elbows forward, and take them over the strap. This part is strange. It's going to be strange. It's strange for everyone. Come forward if the strap is cutting into your arm. You'll come forward a little bit. From here, press up and down. It's a small movement. We're really working deep into some shoulder work, so it's not a very big movement. Pull it up, press it down, easy does it, and up and down. Hold it up halfway, let's add in the pulses at the halfway point. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, come stretch, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come down, pull the elbows in, and let's take the strap just off to the side or hang on the back of the chair. Let's scoot forward. Stretch out the chest and the shoulders. Inhale, sweep back, up and around. Exhale, palms forward. Big sigh of relief this time. Inhale, breathe in through the nose. Exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, sigh of relief. Last one, inhale, big exhale. Hold on to the side of the chair. Let's lift our toes and keep squeezing the block. Any, any width on the yoga block. From here, while, while we hold the chair, we can lean back a little bit. Extend your left leg with a flat foot. And now bring it down. Heel tap. Extension right. Heel tap. Left and tap. Let's keep the alternating heel press warming up the upper thighs and quadriceps. We're also warming up a lot of core muscles from the inner thigh. 
that go up into your stomach. Keep alternating. Press down. Good. Press down. Hold the left leg up. Endurance. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. Come down halfway. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And then press it up. Keep squeezing into that block. It's a micro movement. And I know, I know I make it look easy, don't I? Because I'm teaching and I'm on film. So I can fake it till I make it, all right? But this is not meant to be easy. Press, uh, right Alicia? <laughs> Press, keep going. Press, it's gonna fire up your upper quadricep. You might feel it in your knee. Keep going. Four, three, two, two. one. All the way down. Heel tap. Say, good job. Good job. That's right. Good job. Speak to your body. Good job. Let's do the other side. Right leg extension. Hold it there. Endurance. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One tiny, tiny, tiny bend in the knee, micro bend, and then we're gonna go press, micro, press, little bend, press, bend, good. Keep it going. The harder you squeeze that block, the more you're gonna feel it. Six, five, four, remember to smile, three, two, last one, one and let it come down. Lift your toes, rock forward and back on the feet a few times. Let's lift the heels down, hold it here, come forward, exhale all the way. One, two, three, surprise, push off your feet. Push off and lift. Three, two, one, feet come down. Shift forward, lift your toes. Lift your heels, push off the heels, and lift. Three, two, one. Come forward, rock forward, lift the toes, lift the heels, exhale all the way. One, two, three, push off, hold it. Three, two, one. We have a couple more. Rock, toe to heel a few times. Lift the heels, exhale. One, two, three. Act right. Three, two, one. Come down. A couple more rocks. Lift those heels. Big exhale. It does matter when we breathe. One, two, three, surprise. Lift. Three, two, one. Take it down. From here, take the block into your hands. Hold it right here. Inhale. Reach up. Squeeze. Exhale. Pull it down. If you want, lift one knee. Abdominal crunch. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, other knee. Alternating left to right. Inhale, up. Right knee lift. Nice and slow. Inhale, up. Lift your toes. Knee lift. Inhale, up. Knee lift. If you're looking for a little more of a challenge today, hover both your feet off the floor, lean back, and you never have to touch the floor with this. Alternating your knees, it's a crunch and tap. Crunch and tap, keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. From here, take the block down behind you on the chair. Let's hold on to the side of the chair, lifting our toes. We're lifting the left knee. Press out to the side, come to center, heel tap, other leg, right knee up. Side, out, center, left, side, out. We have one, two, three, that's the pattern. One, two, 
three, and four. One, two, three, we have eight more. Up, out, in, tap. Up, out, in, tap. This is six, five, out, in, tap. Four, out, in, tap. Three, out, in, tap. Two, out, in, tap. One, out, in, tap. Let's lean forward, open the palms. Four, slow, jumping jack. Leg out, keep the toes up, take it, out. And in, out, and in. Two more slow, out, in. Snow angel, out, in. One more slow, out, in. Set of eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one, and relax. Grab your two. Legs are warm, blood is pumping. Let's work a little more with the thighs and the feet. You can have your feet maybe just apart like three inches, three or four inches. Enough to maybe fit a baseball between your feet. Go ahead and crisscross that strap again. And make sure the strap, when it's crisscrossed, it's between your knees or between your thigh. I'm holding on to the tube with both hands underneath. You can hold on to it any way you want. I keep it at the center with both hands because it's going to um, give me more range of motion to work with the apparatus. Sit nice and tall and cover your heels. Just the slightest cover. Now imagine there's a wall on either side of your feet so that the edges of the feet are completely flush to a wall or 90 degrees. From here, keep your right foot exactly where it is and press your left foot out. And then bring your foot in. Good. Hold the left foot steady. Press the right foot out. Let's try this. Put the heels on the ground. Lift your left heel just one inch. Keep the right foot completely steady, glued to the floor. Press the left foot out, and then bring it in. Left foot out, and in. Keep going. Out, in. Out, we have four more singles. Four, three, Keep a little bend in the knee. Two, one. Find that spot. Pack 50%, 50%. So actually, don't give it all you've got. <laughs> all right? Hold it there. And now let's pulse it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep going. 12 from here. We have 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it to center. Let's lift the right heel. It's the smallest cover. Keep a tiny bend in the right knee. Tiny, tiny bend. Protect your kneecaps. Let's take it out to the side, slow. Counter with your left foot, and then bring it in. Press out right. Bring it in. Glue that left foot in place. It's going to anchor you every time you press out. That right foot is trying to drag your left foot over, but you're going to stabilize your hip, your knee, and your leg. Two more. Two. One. Hold it at the halfway point. A little bit of endurance in that joint. Sit nice and tall. Axe across. When in doubt, just axe across. It's the quickest way to improve posture. Big inhale, bigger exhale. We have 20 pulses, let's get it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, bring your heels down for a moment. From here, let's rest, big inhale, big exhale, big inhale, hard reset on the legs. Okay, let's take both feet up. Right. So this is the easier movement. Both feet out, both feet in. Press out with both feet, pull it in. Keep going. Out and in. Big abduction. Out and in. We have three more. Three, squeeze it in. Two, slow. One, halfway. Hold it at the halfway point. You're using a lot of core. Big inhale. Sitting up tall. Nice tall spine. Strong core. Add in your pulses. You're pressing out. 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 Keep going. Keep going. 12 from here. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. All right, let's try something different. Feet are up. Try not to move the right foot. Press the left leg out. Bring the left leg to neutral. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the floor and I've lined my feet up with the grid pattern so I can know where my position is. Press your right foot out. Keep the left foot steady and bring it in. Just one leg at a time. Left leg out, and bring it in. Right leg out. We've got this, bring it in. One more time, left leg, steady through the hip. Right leg, steady through the hip. From here, bring your feet down. Keep this crossed. One more set of right rows, pull it up. Press, and down, good, pull. Keep it going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more pulse it. Just keep pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. We're skipping the hold. Keep going. 12 more pulses for 20. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and relax. Take the two, put it on the chair behind you. From here, reach back for your yoga block behind you. So we had the yoga block on the chair just behind us. Reach back, hold on to that block. Maybe scoot forward a little bit. Practicing chest expansion. Focus on the inhale in your upper chest. The more you focus on the inhale naturally, the muscles behind your heart will contract and get stronger for this movement. We're pressing into the block slightly, or you can hold on to the side of your chair. This is also a nice option. Hold on to the side. When you're ready, inhale, lift your chest and lift your chin and look up at the sky. Exhale, relax your ribs, your belly, and your whole body. Let your posture get really relaxed, really sloppy, right? Inhale, lift, 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 lift. Look up, hold it, three, two, one, and then relax. We're letting our lungs support the spine. Inhale, come up with the breath. Look up, hold it, three, two, one. Slowly relax. It's called an expanding breath in yoga. Big inhale. Hold it, three, two, one, relax. Okay, we're going to practice that breath in a couple different unique stretches today on the chair. I recommend having the block 
to use in these stretches, but you don't have to have it. I'll always demonstrate how to do the stretch with your own body as a means of support first. That's the most important thing with anything, right? How do I just, how do I rely on myself before I bring in this muscle technique? So take your feet out <coughs> a little bit wide. And I like to turn just a little bit off the chair. That way I can turn my left foot and thigh out. So if there was a clock in front of you, right toe at 12, left toe at three o'clock. Three o'clock for your left toe. Clock can go on your thigh as we begin this stretch, or the block can come down on the inside of your left foot, reaching down towards the floor. These are one size fits, maybe. It's not, one, it's not even one size fits most. One size fits, maybe. Okay, so you can press straight down into that block, and as you push, it's going to put counter pressure into your shoulder. Take your right hand and wave it. Hi. Everybody? Hi. Okay. Hold it in place. Thumbs up. Now turn your thumb down. Open your hand. Good. Bend at the elbow and tuck your hand by your low back, protecting your shoulder. <coughs> We just did the expanding breath. Let's do it again. Inhale. Try to lift your chest. It's not going to move as much because we're twisted. It'll move differently, but it's going to push on your shoulder blade a little differently. Inhale. Imagine the breath is in your upper right lung. Exhale. Inhale. Draw your right shoulder back. Press your left shoulder forward towards me. And now look up. Look over your right shoulder. So you are in a triangle stretch from a chair, triangle position. I recommend you start here and check in with your shoulder, especially your right shoulder. Inquire with it. Hey, how are you feeling today? Right? Do you want to listen to your body? If your shoulder is feeling pretty good, then take your hand away. Turn your palm up towards the sky. Imagine you're holding on to balloons. Inhale. Straight up. Inhale a little higher with those balloons. Imagine you're stretching your armpit. It's an armpit stretch. A lot of times we reach with the fingers. Reach with your armpit. Big inhale. Open up. You're opening your liver today. Opening up, you're opening your liver. Why is that good? Could be more energy, could be more iron. Big inhale. Exhale, lower that top hand safely to the hip. Pick up your block and slowly come up. And just rest for a moment. Let's walk this foot in. Do you feel different from left to right? Maybe one side feels different? Okay. Before we do the other side, little disclaimer, it could feel really different. If you have not had a, um, maybe you haven't had a bowel movement today, um, it can feel very different. So when we start to compress um, this side of your body, or no, actually, this is the side, we just compress that side. Now we're gonna squeeze your liver. Yes, we're opening the, the uh, stomach. As we go over, it can feel very different if anything is lodged in there, okay? So move slow. Hand on the block, on the inside of your right foot. Hand out, nice and slow, as if you're waving at me. Good. Thumb down. And now let's protect the hand at the low back. From here, expanding breath, inhale. 
Bring your left shoulder back as you inhale. Push your right arm into your leg and your leg into your arm. It's going to help you twist. Does anybody ever notice, like sometimes you have like a sponge next to your sink and you wring it out and you wring it out, no matter what you do, it's just disgusting. Sometimes your liver and your intestines are like that. So we're trying to detox. Think about it. It's the best analogy I have right now, y'all. We're trying to wring all of the trash out. Big inhale, pull it back. I know sometimes you gotta just throw that sponge away and start all over. Can't do that with your body. You gotta take care of it. Inhale, pull that left shoulder back. Press your right shoulder forward. Option to take the hand away slow. Start to rotate very, very, very slow. We want to protect that shoulder and rotator cuff. And now on the inhale, big breath in. Use your lungs to empower the pose and the stretch. Stretch from your armpit. Inhale, lift up your left shoulder a little bit. Open up. You can look up. This is the most strenuous for the neck, but you're welcome to try it. Big inhale. Exhale. Lower that top arm nice and slow to the waist. Support the spine and the body. Hold on to the block and slowly come up. Nice. Let's walk it around to center. From here, take the block behind you and place it long-wise. Think about where your belly button or waistline is. That's where we want the block to begin. And then the rest of the block is going up your middle back. We're sitting back into that block. Counter pressure to encourage a long spine. Sitting with the palms down or up. Let's just think about the breath. Exhale all the way. Pause. Inhale for a count of three. Pause. Exhale for a count of three. Pause. We're going to keep this rhythm. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. That is the simplest explanation of the breath. If you have a very busy brain, you could do what's called box breathing where you imagine you're drawing a box. You start at one corner, you inhale, one, two, three, exhale, or pause, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, pause, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, pause, one, two, Three, exhale, one, two, three, pause, one, two, three. Continue with that rhythm, coaching it to your body, in your mind, for the next quiet minute.
Now try making the breath seamless. There's only a fraction of a moment in your transitions. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Every inhale is a gesture of purification. Using the breath to cleanse the body. Every exhale, there's a gesture of letting go, which also assists in cleansing. The exhale is more important than the inhale. We have to let go of as much breath as possible, of as much tension as possible, making space for the next cleansing restorative breath. Exhale, that's the practice of letting go. Inhale, the practice of restoration and purification. Let's take our focus off of the breath. Inhale, open the palms of your hands really wide. And then exhale, close them and make a fist. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And if you want, bring your hand a little higher than your heart. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more, inhale, and exhale, relax your breath, open and close the hands a few times, creating this really nice pumping action for your lymphatic system. When you're ready, relax the hands, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, hands back, two more, big breath in, Bigger exhale, last one, big inhale, and bigger exhale. And you are all done. Let's go have a beautiful weekend. Good Friday, everybody. All done.